Today I'm going to show you a very simple way of implementing Bootstrap onto your website. If you don't know, Bootstrap was developed by Twitter and is basically an elaborate style sheet and script. With it you can lay out pages on your site by dividing content into rows where each row can have up to 12 columns. It allows the content of the page to adapt based on the screen size or window size the user is using. For example, on a large high resolution screen Content will appear side by side, but on a mobile device it will automatically become stacked so that all content is visible without having to scroll sideways. It also adds visual effects to form elements such as text boxes. This is my notebook website, and at the moment the page is laid out by using tables, which is not ideal tables should only really be used to show tables of data so I'm going to change how the page is laid out by using bootstrap instead uh, it's quite a simple page so it shouldn't be too difficult to, to do I'm also going to quickly show you how to change these text boxes and buttons to, to be in the bootstrap style To get Bootstrap you have to go to the Bootstrap website which is getbootstrap.com and then click on the download Bootstrap button. What you need is the latest compiled and minified CSS and the latest compiled and minified JavaScript. You can either do that by guess it, clicking on this button to download it or you can highlight these um, this link here this top one here and highlight this one and in Firefox you can right click on it and open in a new tab and then you can save that to your computer. I would always recommend downloading these files and keeping them yourself on your own website rather than relying on these other websites because you never know when they might take the files down in a few years time or make changes to them which could affect how your website works so it's always best in my opinion to have your own copy and then you know that it's always going to be the same unless you take them off yourself. So I'm going to start by putting the correct um, tags into the head tag of this demo page and before that I'll put the correct um, line of code above this HTML tag which needs to be there. I'm just using this header file from another page on my website to copy the, the relevant uh, text. So the style sheet is here for Bootstrap, and that always goes above your any other style sheets that you use. The style sheet below will always override the one above, so you can have as many as you want. But the the lower they are, the more priority they will be given. So you can override settings. Uh, in this bootstrap um, style sheet in your own uh, in your own file. To implement bootstrap you have to add in div tags to your page and then each div tag has to have the correct class assigned to it so that the one that um, you need at the top of all of your content is this container fluid div tag so you can either use container fluid which means the content is um, takes up the whole width of the screen or you can just use container on its own um, where the content uses only part of the width of the screen but it's still centered so you need to probably experiment to see which one of those is going to be more suitable for you so I'm just going to copy that and put it at the top of my content just under the body tag here and then I'm going to put a closing tag and that div tag surrounds all of the content on your page. Each row in your page, because as I, as I said earlier uh, Bootstrap is made, of, made up of rows and columns, uh, you have to start each row using the row class on this div tag and if you want the content to be centered you can add this text center class as well. So I'm going to put that here 
at the moment we're looking at this Google ad which I know that it needs to be centered so I'm going to get rid of this center tag which is no longer needed I think that closes at the bottom So now each uh, now we need to divide the uh, row into columns, and each row can have up to twelve columns, and the, those are specified by these these um, classes here. So this number here specifies how many columns this div will take up out of the twelve available. So because we want to use the entire width, we need to use, use this use the twelve and that will take up the entire width of the row so if you wanted to split it in two you would use six rather than twelve or if you wanted to split it in four you'd use three so you get the idea there so because I want to use the whole width I'm going to use twelve it's always easier when you can just copy and paste and then this um, Google ad is what's going to be in this tag this div rather. So let's just um, put that in the right place there, get rid of that. And now we can just close these these div tags. Actually, we don't want to close the, that one there. So that's one row done. And the next thing, the next part of the content is the title. So let's have a look and see how that appears. So that's in this um, blue part here. So this also takes up the entire width, but it's not centered. So I need to make the background color of this div blue as it is on the existing site. So I'm going to have a look at the style sheet and I think it's this table class here which I will use and I can see that I've made a mistake here so just sort that out so I'm going to copy this because it's going to also use the entire width of the screen So let's also put that table class there. And I'm just going to copy this. I wouldn't worry about this PHP code at the moment. So now let's delete this. Save it. So let's have a look and see how that appears. as you can tell that, that isn't exactly what I had in mind so I think the problem is that I need to make an adjustment in the CSS file because at the moment this will only refer to the table tag rather than a class called table so I just need to put a dot in there go back to this and make sure it's lo use looking at the local copy of my uh, style sheet So there you go, that is how, how it should be. So the next part is this um, navigation bar here. So if we go back to the original site, we can see that this is about um, two, two twelfths, if you like, of, of the page so I will use I'll divide this um, part here this whole part into a row where this is one column and this is a bigger column here so let's put the code in for that as you can see this is all pretty straightforward at the moment so the, the navigation bar is going to be two twelfths Uh, 
and that consists of this code here let's quickly have a look at that yep that's fine obviously it needs um, the other column on the right hand side which is this part so I'll just put that in so because we've used two we've only got ten remaining so the the next column will have to be ten Actually, there was another add under here, so I'll just put that in. And I'll put that HR in, although I don't particularly like HRs anymore. And if I was doing this properly, I would make sure that the uh, alignment of these of these uh, lines of text are done properly. So let's save that, and you should see that the HR now goes under contact here. Yep. And this is where the ad would be as well, which is why it's now um, taller than it was before. So I'll just put in the, the content for the main part of the page. Um, I so that starts with this logo which is here so I think there's another table which I don't really want so I'm just going to take what I need So let's save that for all of this extra code which I can just get rid of really. Which is always nice to do. Oh, didn't want to do that. Um, yep, don't have any other table tags anywhere. And then finally, before I have a look, I'll just put this into its own um, into its own row, which is going to be 12. So I'll just copy this. Save that and have a look. Yeah, so I, th I think that's pretty much. Um, I think you pretty much get the idea there. Um, obviously, there's the spacing which needs sorting out, um, and here as well. So if I was to resize this. you should eventually see that the navigation bar appears above this above the content yes so that's what you would want to happen on a, a smaller screen so that they don't the user doesn't have to scroll to the left and right so they can just go up and down so yeah that's uh, 
that's essentially how it works but um, as you can tell this needs does need some further work to make it um, appear properly I've just quickly opened my um, application launcher website which I uh, converted to bootstrap a while ago um, so as you can see if you resize it everything um, appears above each other stacked up rather than having to scroll to the right and left um, so what I'm interested in showing you now is the forms as you can see when you click on the controls here you get this effect which highlights which uh, text box you're, you have focus on and also when you click on the labels the same thing happens and then you've got this button here which uh, changes colour when you hover over it so I'm just going to quickly show you how to to achieve that so what I'm going to do or what I have done is open the contact page and the bit of code that we're particularly interested in is this so I'm just going to put that in our demo page and just paste that in and then explain how it works so yeah I've put I've aligned that properly now and around each set of controls where uh, where what I mean by a set is the label and the um, the actual text box or whatever you want to use um, you put the form group class then rather than have the column defined with the div tag here you use the label tag and you add the control label class and then your usual um, column classes as, as was previously in the div class here or the div rather so the label will be using three out of the twelve columns and the text box will be using nine and for the text box or the input control you have to um, specify form control here for the class otherwise you probably wouldn't get that effect and other properties such as the height of the control etc so I think that's all you really need so it is pretty straightforward so let's save that and reload our page again this one here so that's pretty much it obviously the text is the same color as the background which is not ideal but as you can see when you click on it on the text box you get the effect around the edge there um, yes yeah, so obviously um, this as I've said this does need a lot of work this page to make it appear properly um, it did take me a while to tweak this this site here to um, to appear properly or in a way that um, I was happy with This video only scratches the surface of what can be done with Bootstrap and was intended to help those with absolutely no experience of having used it before. Two of the best websites to get more information are the Bootstrap site itself and w3schools.com. I have added these links to the description of this video. I hope that you have found this useful and at least now know how to make a start with either creating a new Bootstrap based website or converting an existing one. Thank you very much for watching.